Hi, Bumblebee. I'm glad you made it. My sister has said she's going to come on here too. Uh, before I start this, I don't know if anybody else have, has had a uh, trouble with eBay, switching their returns and the amount of shipping that they're charging. I'll have to go back at least for the last two days. All of a sudden, they're putting $3.99 on all my shipping prices. And they're saying that I don't take returns. I don't know what. I hope that's just in the last two days that the things I've listed in the last two days. Because on my older listings, it's still the same. So I don't know what's going on with eBay right now. But it's very difficult to put my drafts on when I have to change all my policies again. I don't know what happened. So if anybody knows anything about that or if they've had a problem with it, uh, make a comment below, please. <laughs> anyway, yes, I went shopping. I went shopping at Goodwill two days in a row. I left my dog. Uh, in her crate. Uh, she was barking and crying as I left. Hi, Sue. <laughs> and uh, I gave her a Kong with some food in it. That doesn't seem to matter. And uh, I check on her throughout the time I'm gone. Well, both days, after about an hour of crying and barking, now, that's a long time, an hour. She finally sort of laid down. She probably wore herself out. She sort of laid down in the crate and would just whimper once in a while. Uh, I was gone about two and a half hours both days, close to three the first day. <clears throat> Hi, Layla. Hi, Diane. Glad to see you here again. Yes, I actually went shopping. Uh, it exhausted me. I'm out of practice. And I want to see especially if my Goodwills have increased their prices. They have a little bit, but uh, only by about 50 cents. They haven't increased them a lot. So my county, Medina County, has pretty low prices when I compare them to uh, the YouTube videos that I watch of the prices that other people pay in other parts of the country. Um, so it's still good, but I went shopping without any coupons, so I paid Goodwill's full price for these things. I'll tell you uh, as we go what the full price is. But after the second visit to the second Goodwill yesterday, I now have a coupon that I can use and hopefully keep that going. So the next time I go shopping, I will have a 35% off coupon. And uh, hopefully I can go shopping at least once a week if the weather holds out. We have another storm coming. It's like trying to get a baby to take a nap. Exactly. <laughs> I even tried the melatonin again. It had no effect whatsoever. So she goes to the doctor tomorrow if we don't get a huge snowfall. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to come later. Uh, she has a 10 a.m. appointment. Uh, she has another problem now, though. She's having a little bladder problem. I think she has a UTI like girls get, you know, so we have to get that figured out. I probably should collect a urine specimen. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that in the morning. Uh, run around with a plastic bag, I guess, chasing her. Anyway, she went for her walk today. Happy to see Jolene. And uh, let me get started on what I bought. Uh, I'm going to do the hanging things last. I have a couple things here I want to show you first. Uh, I did go in the men's 
pants. I tried to buy heavier things, but some of the things aren't heavy. But I did look at jackets. I did look at jeans. So I got these large Cabela jeans. They're lined and they're men's 46 by 30. So really big ones. <laughs> They will have to get shipped in a box because these for sure won't fit in a padded flat rate. But for jeans, uh, in my goodwill, it's six forty nine dollars uh, for jeans. All jeans, men's or women's, it doesn't matter. So I got that pair. Then I don't know if she counted this as jeans or pants, but um, pants are $4.99, so I'll have to figure that out on the receipts. This is another pair of Cabela's. Uh, classic fit. They're size 46 by 30. Also, same size. These are sort of an olive green, and they're cargo pants. They have pockets on the sides there. So they're in excellent condition. So I'm glad to uh, get that pair also. Two pair of big size men's jeans or pants, whatever. Then I've been watching, of course, Ginger Marvin all the time. Uh, she sells a lot of shoes. She sells kids' shoes too. So I am now looking in the kids' shoes and... Uh, I found one pair. These are a size two. I don't know what that even means. Uh, that's the size. They're Skechers. They're in really good condition. Uh, just needs this bottom white uh, cleaned up a little bit there. Other than that, they're in really good condition. So a little pair of Skechers. Now, children's shoes only cost $2.49. Such a difference between what Ginger Marvin, what Kathy has to pay for shoes. Yeah, so I feel uh, blessed to live in this part of the U.S., or in my county it is, really, to pay that little bit of money. <clears throat> so I'll do what's in the bag here. I did look at women's shorts. Uh, I was hunting for some more little short shorts, but I did find this pair. This is American Eagle. Uh, there were, uh, the blue tags were half price, okay? So this had a blue tag. I don't know if you can see that, doesn't matter, but uh, it's blue. Blue tags, uh, shorts are usually $3.99, $4. So I only paid $2 for these. They are very, very stretchy. And they're by American Eagle, super stretch. In a size z zero. Just a little khaki colored uh, shorts. Just $2. Uh, women's shorts. I bought a pair of, um, these are women's jeans, BKE. Uh, the Stella, the, the uh, style is Stella. And these are just a size 25, which is very small. They're destroyed, or, and they have bleach dipped, uh, I think you call that dipped uh, legs there. So there's like skinny jeans, and they're size 25 um, women's. And women's jeans, just like men's, are 649. There's another pair of little shorts. These are sort of a, oh no, this is a skirt. This is a little uh, mini skirt, tiny little mini skirt. Uh, this is by American Eagle also in a size four. Little denim mini skirt. It's hemmed and uh, doesn't have a style name really. I got that. That was regular price. This is regular price too. 
I picked these up because they're animal print and they're by Cache, which is an expensive, um, very expensive store, actually, when if you go in the store. When I was married, when I got married the second time to Jack, I bought my wedding dress. Well, actually, my daughter bought it for me at Cache. And that's why I know it's very expensive. <laughs> uh, this is a size zero, these little shorts. They're cute. <clears throat> I certainly won't get Cache's price for them, but... Um, this is Levi's. These are by Levi's, little short shorts. Uh, these are a size seven. Oh, dear. If I would have seen these, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. I didn't notice the size. These are juniors. Junior things do not sell well for some reason on eBay. I don't know why, because juniors, that's actually a size. It's not an age really. So, but junior sizes really don't sell very well. Size seven booty shorts. <clears throat> then I picked up these. Now these are just by uh, Wallflower, which is not a really good brand. However, they're little overalls, short shorts, or destroyed but they're little overalls and I think overalls do well uh, no matter what brand so I picked up those and they just count as shorts uh, when they rang them up they're a size medium just a medium uh, Randy's here too and I saw another animal print and grabbed it. Plus, no, this is a red tag. Uh, these are by D Jeans. I got another pair of D Jeans in a uh, one of the boxes. These are a size six. They're stretchy. And they're sort of like skinny, skinny jeans. But they're animal print instead of denim. They're stretchy. And one more thing in this bag. Another pair of jeans. These are really dark wash. These are by Sam Edelson. Now, Sam Edelson makes shoes. I never saw clothes by Sam Edelson. These are called the stiletto, so you can... For sure, they're skinny, skinny, uh, skinny jeans. Look at the size of the ankle opening. Um, they're stretchy. So I'll have to, uh, I think I looked them up in the store and they were doing okay. At least, I should get at least $25 for these. Plus they're dark wash. Uh, of course, skinny jeans aren't really in that much anymore, but... I don't see any real baggy stuff. Of course, I haven't been shopping in for it ever. So let's go to the hanging things. I may have to stand up here. I'll knock my coffee over. Oh. This is one of my favorite things I got. This is by... Soft surroundings. It's a size extra small. It's an open cardigan, uh, like with the waterfall front. And it's the softest suede cloth ever. Of course, it's soft surroundings. Everything they have is soft. So it's in this nice, uh, looks like leather type suede. It's not really suede. It's a uh, suede cloth, but really nice. Uh, piece. Uh, 
Uh, this is by Lauren, Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, <laughs> in a uh, cable knit sweater. Zip up the front. That looks like a moto zipper, but it's not. It's just not hung on the hanger right. It's a center zipper, gold zipper. It looks brand new. Looks like it's never been worn. It's a really nice, uh, classy red <clears throat> sweater in a size extra large, too. So that's a plus. This is a pair of Talbots um, pants in size 14. They're light, almost like a chambray. And they have fl flowers, uh, like flower print. It's not embroidery. It's a flower print all over the pants. <clears throat> but they are like made like jeans with five pockets. Uh, by Talbots. And Talbots, they do have a following for sure. They're just nice... Uh, Sort of straight leg, maybe a little bit tapered. Uh, <clears throat> either see the product or you see me, one or the other. <laughs> uh, this is silk. This is all silk. This is a little top. You can tie this shut for as you know much as you want. Uh, this is by Alice and Trixie. Never heard of it. Number one, it has a blue tag, so it was half price. So tops are $449. So half of that, two and a quarter, I paid for this. It's not a romper, it's just a top. Uh, and they sell at Saks of Fifth Avenue, also as a tag in there. And it's a size medium. So for all those reasons, I picked it up. Then Bumblebee got me started on these lounge pants <laughs> because they do well. So these were a Marshalls in Marshalls for $19.99. They had been $28. These are just by Cynthia Rowley. But I like the stripe. They're navy blue and white stripe. It's a pair of elastic waist, elastic back uh, lounge pants. They have, I don't know if those are real pockets. I think those are fake pockets. And this is a size 12. These are a size 12. They would fit me. Uh, this is by Banana Republic Organic Cotton. This is a uh, hoodie, but it's a tunic length. And it has a border on the sleeves and the bottom. This was also, I think, I think this, was, yes, this was, no, this had a black tag. Regular price. Sweaters are $4.99. So a nice tunic uh, hoodie pullover sweater. This sweater, I feel I've had two or three very similar sweaters, but they're so soft, and I really like the color, and I seem to always pick them up. So it's sort of like a crop length. It's not real long, and it is by uh, Philosophy and a size small. So a pretty little... Uh, Sweater with some detailing down the sides. And I found this men's jacket. Uh, this is like a, not winter weight, but like a fall weight. Uh, bright red in excellent conditions by Columbia. And it's an extra large men's. 
So I think that'll be a good sale. And jacket, men's jackets or any jackets, $4.99. So they're no more expensive to buy this jacket at my goodwill than it is to buy a sweater. So good deal. The only thing about this jacket is it is missing the hood. And when you fold this up, it says double whammy. I don't know if that means with the hood, but it's missing its hood. But I picked it up anyway. Uh, this is by Eddie Bauer. I just thought it was a nice looking top. It's poly, I think it's polyester, but it's uh, like a heather, blue and black heather, and it has a, a pocket, just one pocket, and snaps, all, snaps like a quarter snap, like a Henley, long sleeve. Oh, there's pockets too, side pockets. By Eddie Bauer, that's a small, by the way. Uh, this is Banana Republic, but it's the outlet. But I bought it because I just thought it was cute. Uh, Banana Republic uh, is a good mall brand to get. And it has this little ruffle on the bottom. I thought it was cute. It's gray with white stripes. And it is a size large. Here's a brand I never heard of, and I looked it up in the store, and some some of the prices were real high, and some were not so high, so I don't know. This is a Sebi, S-E-B-B-Y. I don't know if you can even see what that says on that tag. It's real light. It says, take it from me, it says Sebi right there. S-E-B-B-Y. Uh, this is a size large. It has a hood. It's like a mid-weight, middle-weight jacket. It has nice styling and a belt that's there. I just thought this was a nice looking uh, piece. It has po big pockets too. So <clears throat> I'll pick that up to try it, and we'll see. All the buttons are there. This is by Altered State in a small. It's just sort of a really lightweight, down-colored chambray-type fabric. I got it because... Well, I got it because the detailing on the back it has some uh, button detailing on the back. And the front, the buttons are three buttons in a row. Three, and then there's three, and then three, and three. It sort of makes it a little bit different. But just a nice denim colored chambray shirt. It has uh, tab roll sleeves also. You can roll up the sleeves and... Uh, has a tab there. Small. This is small. I'm going to trip over this chair. Then I love soft things. So I got one. Uh, I got this Kalia. Kalia is a uh, Carrie Underwood brand. The singer. Uh, has her little emblem there. This is pretty pink. And on the bottom, it has these zippers, can zip up to give you more uh, room at the hips. But really soft, really soft fabric. Soft and cozy. This is a boho top by Knox Rose in an extra large. It has elastic at the sleeves. And it has crochet detailing on the hem and around the bodice there. And has lace up here with tassel ties. 
So all you need to be a boat bubble hole, <laughs> sort of bohemian look there. It's from the other side. Lucky Brand. While I was in the store, I sold a Lucky Brand top and I bought a Lucky Brand top. So this is a size large. It's just a nice blue and white print. Uh, it has one, does it have one? Yeah, one button and a little keyhole hit there. It's an all over pretty print. I'm going to try to go from this side, but I kill myself. Just a couple more things. Uh, I got two, I think these were both blue tags. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters. This is a large tall uh, in a men's athletic fit. Uh, nice window pane, a long sleeve shirt. And another American Eagle Outfitters, extra large, vintage fit, whatever that means. Maybe that means larger. But it's uh, blue with white stripes. Long sleeve, American Eagle. And this last piece, I was really happy to find this because this this so reminds me of the things that McThrifty buys and sells. Uh, she would like this. This is by Knox Rose also. So it is, they make a lot of uh, bohemian boho type things. This is a uh, size extra large. And it has this hem. That, well, first of all, the sleeves are really pretty. Uh, crocheted at the uh, cuffs there and the bottom is all crocheted and it has fringe so we have crochet and fringe it's an open cardigan and it's a size extra large and it's made out of acrylic and nylon so it's fairly soft so doesn't that remind you of the things that McFrissy sells So that is it. That's the extent of what I got. What I got in my shopping spree. It took me two days to get that much. I usually get that much in one visit, but I was worried about the dog, of course. And uh, yeah. I'm not as good at shopping yet. Estella, hi. Let me see what you said here. You wonder what regular size a junior seven equals. Sometimes I do see poshers mention like that. Like an extra large child equals an extra small women's. Yeah, I wonder where you can find that out. Um, I know it tires you out, but it's great to see Shirley Hall. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think I get, right. I Even at these prices, uh, I wrote down at the one store, even at full price, each item is uh, one. One store was the first store was four fifty six each at full price, and this other store is four forty eight of the things I got. I got nineteen things at one store and ten things at the other store, but still not bad as far as pricing goes. But once I get the coupons going. I'll be able to uh, do better. So it was fun. I had a good time.
if I hadn't been so worried about the dog, I probably would have gotten more or stayed a little bit longer. But hopefully that'll get better. I was glad to see she at least laid down after a while. She probably exhausted herself. But tomorrow when I go see the vet, I'm going to talk to the vet about this. Yeah. Randy, I'm glad you were able to get out. Yeah. Well, I tried to go two days in a row and see how that helped, you know. And I think if I would go out every single day, she'd eventually get used to it. But I can't go out every day. And well, I could go someplace every day. And it all depends on the weather. We have another ice storm coming in. However, it seems to be moving more south now. So hopefully we'll just get some snow out of it instead of the ice and sleet, which that's the part I don't like. I don't mind a little snow. But. So that's my haul midweek. I had an exciting Poshmark sale. I had my first bigger bundle sale. It's only three things. It's not big, big. My daughter had a five bundle eBay sale <laughs> like a couple days ago. Uh, but yeah, that's the first actual bundle that I had. Because on in the Poshmark, uh, my Poshmark sale, you can, or store, you can get three things are over, you get 20% off. So. Yeah, it turned out to be a good sale. And the, all three things were um, sort of boho type items. And they were all older items I've had for a long time. So maybe since I've been listing some new things, it's starting to rev up my store a little bit. But all of those things were things that the Posher VA, um, not so much that bundle, but the Posher VA, this. I got another couple sales, and they were all offers that were sent to them. So, yeah, I'm going to continue <clears throat> continue putting things on to Posh. We'll see. She did about, Penny did about the same both days. She didn't seem to do that much better the second day. But... Uh, she, when I let her out, when I get home, she's so thirsty that she can't eat, drink enough water. I have to take the water away from her so she doesn't drink too much at one time. So, yeah, I'll close for now. Continue listing. Oh, the problem I'm having with eBay is uh, in the last few days, this has just happened because the last time that I um, put drafts on, this wasn't the case. I went to put my drafts on and I noticed that the shipping was different. The Everything was different down um, the price, not the pricing, but the shipping and the returns. They're saying all the things that I put on recently, I went back and looked. It says I don't take returns. What happened to my uh, policies? I don't know. I have to go fix all this. And it was putting on, for all the shipping, it was putting on $3.99 for the last few days <clears throat> of everything that I've drafted instead of putting the prices that I put on. It doesn't, the whole shipping area and the pricing doesn't even look the same when I'm listing. So I don't know what in the earth happened. Uh, maybe I should just shut down my computer and start it up again. It might have been, it might have happened when I did that. Because I just did that since the last video that was so slow on Sunday. After that, I closed down my computer and restarted it, which helped with the speed. But maybe that maybe that happened then. I don't know. I'll have to look into this more. 
but I may have to go back in the policies and redo all that. It just takes up time. Yeah, six in the chat. Good. Mm. Yeah, I think she'll get used to eventually. But I'll close for now. And uh, I will be back for sure on Sunday to do the What's All video. So I'll see you then. Bye, Sue. You're so quiet. My sister is so quiet. She never says anything. <laughs> so I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Bye.